This is Girls Night Out, the podcast. Audio. Yes, we're, we're, we're recording. What's it smell like? It smells like uh, like sweat. Yeah, mine does that's too. That's mine, actually. <laughs> and that's mine as well. <laughs> well anybody who smells like sweat, point. I was on that one. Ooh, Welcome to Girls Night life. Out, episode <laughs> 84, right? Is it, ep- no. oh. is it episode 84, Nick? I believe it's uh, 84. Yes, it is. It's yeah, it is 84. How can, how can oh, Mike eight, smell like sweat? You're like sweating out of your mouth. I have no idea. That doesn't seem yeah, right but where do, How do they get transferred? When you to spit. What? My name is Izzy Camiso, and to the left of me is... Uh, Patrick Coppolino, and to the left of me is... May Scaloni, and to the left of me is... Gavin Stevens. Fuck, I think I'm on board with Gavin. I'm Jordan. Thank you. No, uh, I Nick appreciate Tompkins. that. One second. Go. No, what no, is no. This? What is this? Me. Somebody's got to change this shit yeah, up. Yeah, we no. got to change this shit up. Okay, no. let's go to the right. All right, <laughs> my name is Izzy Camiso, and to the right of me is... is Nick Tompkins, to the right of me is... Uh, Jordan Shear, to the right of me is... Stevens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gavin Stevens. And, <laughs> and? He's, he's across from you. Uh, you know who's Mace is across from me. We right? don't start Mace. until you do. Now we know. My name is Mace Galani. And to the left of me is I'm not even giving up on the left thing. We're not going right. We're going left. I'm what Gavin, is your name? Gavin Stevens. And you're Mace Galani. And you're Mace Galani. <laughs> Look at that power position. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking worked out. Yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> assertive for about he's thirty gonna go, seconds. He's oh, gonna go fold okay. clothes right now. Yeah, no shit. Iron of he's iron. Gonna put iron. his flash costume on. <laughs> <laughs> Take control of the situation. Dick falls out of it. Did you feel like Spider Man when you were making your own costume? <laughs> I did. Yeah, <laughs> it's very difficult. Were you? Did you have like the action music playing in your head? Yeah, that's what I was picturing. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> <a new song? laughs> I think I made Cassie cry twice. Did it? Did you yell at her? Yeah. How many times did you Pass cry? Pass me my scissors. <laughs> the whole time. You made her cry twice? <laughs> no, I didn't actually make her cry, but she got very, very upset at me because apparently I was uh, being a dick. Why not you? Because I just wanted it done a very specific way, and I wanted her to hold it a certain way. Were you like, no, you stupid bitch? (laughs) (laughs) I think that would be being a dick. If you were like, you are not even capable of being a dick. Oh, have you heard him talk about my wife? I haven't heard him domestically (laughs) abuse anybody yet. Yeah, my wife. (laughs) What does he say about your wife? Oh, horrible things. Yeah, but you should hear what your wife says about him. Oh yeah, it's reciprocal. That's a very sexual, (laughs) aggressive relationship. (laughs) It's natural. (laughs) <laughs> it's natural. It's it like is. it's, it's like air relaxer. It's a circle of life, really. <laughs> yeah. It, can you um, say some of the things that you say about it? Yeah, what do you say about it, Gavin's wife? Oh, he just, every once in a while, he just <laughs> says, I don't I even want to repeat no it. He says, you're... like, stuff like, I'd like to hit that bodacious <laughs> ass. Yeah, he does like say bodacious. I'd like to tap that shit. Yeah. He wants um, to this is my voice. pussy making <laughs> grabbing gestures at your wife's crotch. <laughs> it's very inappropriate. Now you're doing it. I didn't say I didn't join in. I was just describing Mace's original antics. <laughs> they think it's hilarious, and then when you're in front of her, well, you get all so quiet. hot. We wouldn't say it. Yeah. <laughs> you get all quiet and shut up. Yeah, of course, uh, there's a girl in the room. What am I going to do? Did you tell talk? her what he, what he says? Pardon? Have you told her what he says? No. Are you fucking crazy? Because I'd get in trouble for him. She'd be mad at him, but I'd get in more trouble because I she, didn't defend her. You don't think she'd be flattered? You think? Yeah, he did not defend her at all. I don't defend her. Of course not. Dude, we can't even talk about this now. She probably hears it. Let's get back to Mace's costume. <laughs> so when Yo, you're Gabby, beating up on. your I'm lady. Gonna, yes. I want to stick to this a little bit. Um, you should tell her what does because he'll stop doing it if you call him out in front of her. Okay. I'll next, do time, th- next time yeah. she's there, go, oh, Mace, what was, yeah. what was that you were that's saying? That's a good idea. Because that's how I got but people to say, stop saying the one to fuck and you, high school. you don't see her as a human? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no, I'm not like Vanolis. Uh, I do see her as a human. I yeah. just don't see her. Uh, yeah. I don't know if that would. You probably you see her once in a while. Yeah, when you're out of town. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait a second. You all can't do it. You can't do this. You all know her. That's not right, man. Right. I see her walking the dogs all the time. We're going to yeah. see her this weekend. Her, 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 her yeah. birthday. Yeah, it's her birthday this weekend. So you should probably Oh, yeah, you're all invited, her. by the way. Elise's birthday? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, one of those drinking at my house. Saturday. Is, is Ron she going to that cheese dip Who? again? Ron? No, I don't know. Is he... He's here all weekend. Oh, is he? I haven't talked to him. I'll, I'll let him know. Gonna, gonna let him come hang out with her, your wife? Yeah, her yeah I'll let him come hang out. Maybe we don't even have <laughs> Oh, Jostle's in town this weekend? I think. I didn't know. He knew. Yes, he's doing yuck yucks. <laughs> Wait, I thought he was in LA. Well, now he's in Hamilton. Oh, he's moving up. <laughs> <laughs> now he's in. Because he was filming Comics Unleashed. So, uh, that show. 
Russell's? Where they sit around and they tell their jokes, but it's supposed to be like politically incorrect. Oh, I've seen but that. But they tell their jokes. Oh, that's not Paul Provenza's. No, his is Green, Green Room. Yeah, I like that show. It got canceled, right? Yeah, they did one season. It didn't really get canceled. It was two. Just didn't get renewed. Pretty sure. Oh, yeah, you're right. It did, dude. Yeah, don't did they two. just work bits? Yeah, like, that one they just do their bits. Yeah. And they just, it's just their, yeah, they just do it. And everyone's laughing. Everyone's like, ah. I watch it. I'm like, that's bullshit because all these comics fucking don't want that one to do better than that one. Better than them. So they're like, oh, oh, that's great. But you know, they're all jealous of each other. You know, everyone's pissed off. Motherfucker's shining. Maybe they actually are just genuinely supportive of each other. No, it's LA. <laughs> maybe, they're, maybe they pair each other up with their friends that they genuinely enjoy. All right, I'll go with you. What you just said. Maybe that's what it is. Mm hmm. What network is it showing? Uh, I remember it was on NBC for a bit, but I don't know anymore. Might be on, like, Stars or something like that. I'm just throwing out names now. I watched this uh, comedy special. It was, like, the bad girls of comedy. It was, like, Snoop Dogg's thing. Oh, was, I saw that on Did that you watch it? I didn't it? watch it. No, I I couldn't. just watched a bit because I have to watch shit like that. It was terrible. Yeah. They did a Coming to America, like, the verbatim the skit. I don't know how it went, but it was, like... I saw that it was, and I'm not being racist, but I saw that it was four black. Great way to, great way to start this out. Black app. female comics. No, it wasn't. There were, it was like three blacks and one whoa. white. Whoa, whoa, and two whoa. whites. I think they're three blacks, blacks, two whites. Gavin. Yeah, Gavin, you can't say two blacks. Racist. You can say blacks. But I just blacks, pictured it would just be every. Blacks. I just thought, and I know it's not nice to. Uh, Watch black Stere- people or, uh, stereotype. You can't well, even say. I it. just pictured that they were all going. What are you saying? Though? <laughs> I'm saying I, all of it's going to be like. Mm-hmm, I told my man. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before you go any further, was it like that? It was exactly like exactly. That. So no stereotype. <laughs> See? Reality. I couldn't watch it. Was, it. it was totally. But Lunell, do you know Lunell with this haircut? Lunell was on it. My husband never eats my pussy. That's oh. Lunell, pretty much. <laughs> Is she the one that was in Borat? Yes. Okay. Yeah, she was in it, and then she did the underground, and it wasn't. No, she wasn't. Yeah, she wasn't that good in that. I agree. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, too. Yeah, I, I skimmed through it, and then I stopped. Why is Snoop Dogg producing comedy specials? Hey, it, they, they did this they festival did years ago called the LOL Comedy Festival, and, like, uh, and they, did, they produced did a whole Canada? bunch of them. No, but they produced a whole bunch of specials. Didn't Pete, did he do the Bad Boys of Comedy? Yeah, yeah he did, yeah, but that was, then, like, after Def Jam. And then once you uh, did that... He was technically your manager? Yeah, yeah. Where, where, where did I hear really? that? Yeah. Forget, I heard that too. We probably heard it in the same place. He yeah. was technically your manager. Oh, um, uh, you know where I heard it? That's what um, happened to Mace. Uh, Joe Rogan experience. Yes, that's Big J right. Oakerson did the yeah. P. Diddy. That's uh, what happened to Mace. P. Diddy's manager? Mace's manager now. He was yeah. Mace's manager for a while in the 80s. He did it. He did it. He, did it. He, did it. <laughs> he still has been. The relationship is going well. Is yeah. it going strong? Yeah. 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 He's his number one bad boy. He, he's the first guy he called and showed the photos of him as the Flash. <laughs> it's like Diddy, what Yo, do you Diddy. think? I'm glad he let you take the dollar sign out of your name, though. That was really nice. Of him. <laughs> well, Adam, he forced him to take it out. Mace's yeah. lawyer was trying to fight to keep that in, and <laughs> a terrible legal battle. His lawyer is Snoop Dogg, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many lies. Many lies. So many lies. I, I hope when you become famous that you have like a, an entire black entourage. All hip hop stars. <laughs> yeah, that'd be amazing. Yeah, that would be great. If I if we become famous, that's what I'll do. And they I'll bring them to, to every them. girls' night out episode. And just it's just gonna be Gavin and Black Zeus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst entourage ever. Zeus. I can say we're reading. I'm reading comic books, and Most Black Zeus is twisting his Black Zeus. No, How are those looking? They actually so start to look like dreadlocks. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he's uh, going to reach his goal and finally look like Wanda Sykes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought he had accomplished that months ago. But Did you <laughs> see that picture that someone posted? Oh, of his, his, yeah, yeah, the female doppelganger. What is it's like on? dead on. on. Yeah, yeah that is insane. Yeah, it's not that. really insane. Quite insane. <laughs> <laughs> is it Black Zeus? <laughs> no, it's a chick that looks exactly it's a ch- like yeah, him. Exactly like him. Is there any way to find it? My name's Tasia. She used to bartend on Mondays at... What was it on Instagram? On Facebook. Facebook. So what, like a page or somebody's? Know. I don't even oh have man. Facebook it anymore. Just picture Black Zeus. It's Black, Black Zeus. Facebook page. It's it is Black Zeus in a dress. <laughs> I saw a little uh, a girl who looked like Little Wayne, like exactly like Little Wayne at that's school. The, the that's a shame. 
<laughs> That's a real goddamn shame for that woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess so. You I bet like, she's proud of it, though. You look like a little Wayne. Yeah. Right. I wanted to say it to her because it was such a good call, but I didn't think it would work out. Did you see you that so? thing with Dra- Did you see that thing with Drake? He was like he was warming up with some basketball team. What? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I didn't oh, see this. Um, I didn't watch it, but I heard he was a, the laughing stock. Yeah, yeah, he got an air I ball. You, but let's the, let's do one thing at a time. Sweating. Well, why was he warming up with them? He's a rapper. I don't know. I no, guess no, he no. just. Of course, was. he's going to be the laughing stock. Yeah, yeah. Didn't he have stakes in the Raptors until the mm. NBA told him to fuck off? I don't know. I remember reading that somewhere, but it could have been the Onion. Oh, God. what is a style coach? Well, he's had swag. Yeah, you know how they have, what like, the touchdown celebrations? <laughs> okay, you yeah, teach yeah. them how to look cool while they're dribbling. No the way. No, that's not what it was. Oh. No, he, like, he, he influenced the uniform, uniform and stuff sports. like that. I would have bought that. Yeah, he did buy it. I, I, I had no idea. Found the picture. Yeah. It's uncanny. Yeah, it looks exactly like an Ethiopian woman. Hey. Yeah. Jared, would, you an Ethiopian woman. would you call Do it insane? Would you call it insane at all? Our did we call what? It, no, would you look at that and say that's insane at all? Are you? I'm trying to prove a point to Gavin. Is it insane how is much it, it looks like? Like I would be like, that's insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I could do that. Whatever. You just you you talked him into saying that answer. No, I just asked the question. No, he should naturally come to the conclusion that's insane. Izzy, would you say your Not, food is delicious? It is quite delicious. <laughs> well, yeah, what's, but he a, should what's naturally, a fucking problem? Like. So you don't believe that people should use insane to describe pictures? No, I just of said places. I don't think that's insane. He said that's insane. I said that's not insane. insane I, think, I think it's insane. Pat thinks it's insane. I think it's insane. Yeah, yeah, but you guys Jordan stated. I'm not gonna, no, no, I'm not gonna make a fucking some weird side out of this thing. I honestly don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that's why it's not insane. Classic don't care Jordan. That. Want to be that's outside why of think, this argument? I think it's but not going to participate. How many spot on doppelgangers have you seen like that? A million. Spot on. Dead Opposite on. gender as well. A million and two. A million. A million and two. More than the just mm-hmm. bag <laughs> level of doppelgangers? That's correct. Have you ever seen uh, a female Lizzie? Yep. Uh, I don't know. I just saw her. Don't you have a joke about the female Lizzie? In a mag? There's a female Lizzie? Mm-hmm. Fucking no. I don't know. Insane. I know. Yeah. I've never no, seen This water's myself. insane the way it's wet. <laughs> That's the point, though, because water's an everyday thing. Yeah. The yeah, but it's in everything. Like, it's 90% of your That's body. That's fucking insane. <laughs> Thank you. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Cypress Hill's album is insane in the membrane. Great album. Was that the album? Or was that the song? I don't know. I, I only I don't know where I'm going. I with only that. collected the first Cypress Hill album. I didn't get. How many was there? There must have been a few because they were going for a long time. I think they're still going. I but I remember the going. first one. Are they still one. putting out new shit though? Yep. I think oh, so. Oh really? I, I remember the first one. And then they Funk Dubious came out with them. Are they changing their sound at all, or are they still putting out like the hits from the bong? I, hope I they think can. they changed for a bit, and then they got back to the hits from the bong stuff. They had something like a uh, cooler. I don't remember what album in the it gang? was, but a couple uh, <laughs> years ago. Yes. No, it wasn't like their old stuff. Some yeah. of it. And then they did like some really Latino sounding song. Which really disgusted you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I saw a couple uh, of the local skaters from like the guys that uh, are sponsored by Flat Spot. Uh-huh. I saw two of them in like just match like uh, the Adidas jumpsuits, like the pant and the, the jacket one was wearing red one was wearing black they're riding the exact they're sitting on the same thing together with an old ghetto blaster pumping cypress hill and they're just going down the street it was pretty funny <laughs> did you laugh did I, you... I laughed hysterically let me ask insane. you a question did you... oh insane. see that's an actual insane but it was quite enjoyable to see the actual rascal scooter riders like look at them like oh, animals get your own <laughs> <laughs> maybe they were filming something no, they were just going down the street. Sounds like that's just real life. Mm-hmm. That is real that's life. That's just real life shit. <laughs> that's real life. Well, shit. Goes down that that hey, one hey. guy that they sponsor at um, Che. Count when Dracula. That, pretty much, he was wearing a very long uh, sequence coat, and he had a lot of rings on. Remember oh. when we saw that Michael Baldessero thing on CHCH? Oh yeah. And that guy was just—he looked. Oh, that guy. He's like a pimp. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a pimp. Kind of oh. looks like Riff Raff, but even more. Pimp. Yeah. P- Remember the guy that we saw out <laughs> in Subbury? This guy's fucking brilliant, man. Justin. 
He looked oh. like Hulk Hogan with like a velvet bucket hat. He had a blue velvet vest and like this three chains. Is he three gold he chains? Had a handlebar mustache that was bleach blonde, and then he had these like acid washy tight. He thought he was so fucking cool, and he was in the toy department. Yeah, but he did you see his? Did you see his <sighs> girlfriend or wife? No, I didn't see his wife. She was pretty hot and like clearly twenty years younger than him. Yeah, because she's an oh. idiot. She's like, this guy is doing well. Look how many <laughs> Look how many chains he has. He has three, not one, not yeah. two, but three, and he, one of them had a big eagle on it. He you would have loved him. He was double <laughs> I already do. <laughs> he was double peacocking. It was like two peacocks. And okay, his, like, but his step he's two. Oh. Yeah, he, like he, he murdered another fucking, peacock yeah, and attached, and his, attached the <laughs> feathers to his. He, he, his he walked with some swagger though. Oh, at, oh, yeah. he was fuck. He had gla- he had the sunglasses. Like two big, like big fucking. And were they white sunglasses? I don't remember. And he was just like, "You notice this guy?" It's zero no. irony in all of this. A no. Zero. This is a beautiful human being. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you guys snap a stealth picture? That's what I do all the time. He creepy was, as I'm fuck. not good at that. Because he is one of those guys that when he was walking with the swagger, his his back step, like the right leg, when he hit that, he'd be like. All over the place. He was getting <laughs> so he, he was checking all of his peripherals. He was so. getting a snap on that cashmere yeah. outfit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, <laughs> he, he, was, uh, he was the sprinkler of look, of walking. Yeah, That's, there's, there's there's no low so you didn't want to risk getting the picture no. because you thought he might fucking attack you? Yeah, he he break like, his wrist. He was like 60 years old. Too. He would break his wrist. <laughs> what are these mentally challenged? He would <laughs> he'd, he'd take snap. Izzy's phone and make it stab him in his forehead. Snap Izzy's frail entertainer <laughs> wrist. And then we got to take him home. We were planning on going up. This is what we plan to do in Walmart. Uh, we were. This is a good. This always. This is always fucking preludes a great story. By the way. Well, Mace is going to pretend he was mentally challenged, of course, as he does, and he's going to go up and say he was lost and looking for his father. And then Izzy and I would show up and fight because I was the real dad. Just, no, I was a real dad, you and were I was a step stepdad. Was fucking my whore ex-wife. Yeah, and then we were going to. F- we never did it. <laughs> we got distracted by. Yeah, um, Oh, By yeah. the uh, the white George Jefferson. Yeah, and then we uh, yeah we bought shoes instead. <laughs> we bought shoes. Izzy's are cool. Hmm? Mine's are mine are cool. Yo, yours are cool too. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, like no, 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 no. Like nope. Your shoes don't are like cool. This. Are you wearing them now? I'm wearing them now. Yeah, those are old lady shoes. <laughs> those are not old lady shoes. <laughs> These are new lady shoes. <laughs> those are old lady shoes. No, they're not. <laughs> Gerald, I'm going for a walk. <laughs> they're not Gerald. I'm going for. A walk. These are cool <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I don't know why I said Gerald. These are cool shoes, man. Are they orthopedics or? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, damn. Fuck all of you. <laughs> ah, fuck all of you. Whatever. I think they're cool. I, know, I actually do, too. I, was just I, I like them. That's all that matters. Is he do of yours on? Yeah. Yeah, they're Let's comfortable, man. Stop the yard and ease back. Oh, those are cool. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. His I actually can't. look like shit, too. <laughs> they're not shit. Yeah, <laughs> look at them. They're just boring. Izzy has a lovely pair of shoes. <laughs> How much are they? Bucks. Too, that one actually is covered in shit. <laughs> well, I had to walk. <laughs> I had to, the they come in shit. <laughs> that one has shit on it. <laughs> how long did you have those fucking shoes? Like three <laughs> days. It just got it, back. That's how they is come. Is your dog shit on it? No, no, it's just blood. It's human shit. It's, it's just it's, blood. It's easy shit. It's, it's shit. shit's blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, had just to, I had to walk 40 minutes to get to the bus stop in Stony Creek, and there is not one sidewalk. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're you crying? Saying that. Is, that a, is that a pain in the ass? It's now? a fucking giant pain in the ass. And it was all wet, and every time a truck drove by, it splashed me. Were you crying? Oh, well, but. So the first yeah, couple times you did it, you were like, this is okay. Yeah, yeah but you're living you're like, in a Fuck new house. But you're living in a new house. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a nice place, but so there's fucking nothing around. How am I supposed to be upset? You're not supposed to be upset. your situation? I wish I was driving. I have to again. walk to the bus stop. In, from my new house. In my new shoes. How, much, how long is the walk? <laughs> 39 minutes. In my new shoes. In my new house. <laughs> I, I was getting a race car track for when I sit down and take a poop. And I had to walk 40 minutes to get the bus to get there. Yeah, I'm really I forgot to about... take cash out and I had to use my uh, credit card. I couldn't be at home because the painters were painting my house. <laughs> I don't like the fumes. And my maid's a bitch. <laughs> mom. She doesn't organize mom. my Mom. talk about my mom like that. <laughs> a beautiful lady. Um, I know she is. That's what happened to, that's what happened to Izzy. We, we, we played this town where, like, fucking it was all minor dudes and shit. <laughs> and Izzy's on stage talking about <laughs> his, mom's, his mom gets mad because he spills soup. 
<laughs> he lives with his mom and he's still suing. Yeah. these fucking hard dudes in the audience. Yeah, like, every... <laughs> it's hunting season. It's yeah. hunting season. <laughs> the people that were there were there <laughs> because their loved pussy. ones were out hunting deer. <laughs> and this pussy's on stage talking about it. his mom gets mad at him for spilling the soup. <laughs> they were just staring at him like, I want to kill you. What, these guys just came in like fucking Lois and Clark and have to hear him talk about <laughs> spilling soup? And, and, he's whi- and he's complaining. No, and he's... but I'm on board with this. Yeah, I don't relate to those people yeah. either. So oh, neither do I. And throw them under the bus. But, but when you're none watching... Of us on that show. Did. But no. when you watch the contrast, it's the funniest. Yeah. Fucking to be there would have been yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Like we kill animals for fun. I know. Yeah. Not yeah. even for oh. nutrients. Oh, you <laughs> opened a can of Campbell's and spilled a little on your mom's tiles. She got mad. Uh, I spilled buck blood all over her floor and told her to fucking deal with but it. But he was so passionate about it too. And those people are just like, these are dudes that can rip phone books in half, right? They work in mines and shit. I was just laughing so hard. I thought it was so funny. I live in my mom's. <laughs> she gets mad at me and called her a bitch in it. And they're like, Father, what cunt. the fuck? I said, what the fuck? Your mom's a cunt? Yeah. So were they like receptive to the joke? Or yeah, were they just like, sort of. I've got yeah, the black good. lung. I don't give a fuck about what you they, have to say to me right they now. Were sh- <sighs> they were they, they weren't shit, but they weren't great. And they were like just, yeah. It was what it was. He's exaggerating how much of a like, oh, you spilt Campbell's, we kill animals. Nah, it wasn't I, like, the, but it, it was obvious that they're like, oh, you're just a city pussy. No, <laughs> it, 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 they weren't. They didn't do anything to him. It was just me watching who they were and, and watching him talk, and it was just really funny to me. It was funny for me too because I realized that on stage, and then I saw you giggling about it. I was like, fuck, he knows too. <laughs> but there was a point where I was. You laughing. actually had that conscious thought while you were up there. Yeah. Did that sh- throw off your game at oh, all, no. or were you just like, no. no, it was fine. But no, the game was right. continued. Well, you had like a, what, like you thought they were kind of against you at that no, time? I no, I could just tell they didn't, they didn't relate. Like there was the only, the, the most I could relate to were the two old ladies in the front. Yeah. And they. <laughs> There's your show right there. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even going to question that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, go on. It was a. Yeah, they, they were just the most, like understanding of my material like oh i get that i had a kid your age too and then he went out and started killing animals but he was spilling soup when he was 12 <laughs> and then after the show they took us to the popular bar which was like a country and western fucking bar those can be fun though sometimes weren't yeah. no <laughs> not f- hanging out with you three no <laughs> but those can be fun sometimes you guys probably just sat in the corner and talked yeah, we about did actually there was guardians a... of the galaxy and how <laughs> funny it was and you, how it shocked was really you were if somebody hasn't seen it yet. it was it was uh <laughs> no, I've had it was that conversation insane. With each of you about nine times <laughs> <laughs> well it apparently got bad reviews in china <laughs> i'm the guy wearing batman pajama pants yeah, and a boston wear... bruins uh like jacket and took bat- money out of my hand while i was paying yeah. the bartender he's like you're buying me a drink and snatch it i was like you're wearing fucking pajama pants you I yeah, probably and should did buy you buy him a drink. No, no, oh. God, no. You peed on him. The, the, you the, peed on him. No. I'm surprised the fucking bartender <laughs> didn't do anything. Yeah, I, did, actually. I was yeah, handing, totally I was handing her the money for my drink. She went to take it, and then fucking pajama pants reaches over and snatched it. She didn't do anything. She just looked at him and then looked at me like, you "Yeah, do she anything? probably knows him." That's crazy, Earl. <laughs> you, we were sitting in by by the, this area where it was like they took an old car and they made seats and stuff like that. And Mace buckled himself into <laughs> the seats as he does, as he does. Safety first, so safe. natural in a bar. <laughs> the bouncer told me, walked over from the other side of the room just to tell me, he's like, "You have the most antisocial uh, posture I've ever." I think seen that guy was trying to pick you up. The I think that guy was trying to pick you up. That guy? Did yeah. he say you, young lady? You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Hermione. Pull out your tits. Have some fun, goddammit. <laughs> You're a very suppressed young lady, aren't you? I love you, Hermione, but you need to relax. <laughs> that guy, what was your response to him? I, uh, I, I, I yeah. say thank you. Dead on. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit of giggles, though. You know how he's giggly. Yeah, yeah. You got to throw the giggles yeah. in there. You don't want to seem fucking no. abnormal. He's like, he's just waiting for us to finish at the bar. And then when we finish, it's like, McDonald's? And then we <laughs> and we go to McDonald's. And we were honking the horn the entire yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> fucking pissing off. Yeah. Nice. Honking because you no, but you pull shit on us all weekend long. That's yeah. true. Like, I was sweating. He does. Yeah. I did. Oh, you pull shit. Oh, the stereo thing. The fucker. I can't get. That a was seri- on the ride home more than anything. I can't get a serious answer out of you. I ask a question oh. and then you just like like what? Just anything like. So, what do you think about? And I'll ask like something about comedy or something, and then he'll just keep giving me these. I'm like, all right, all right okay. I knocked on the door to go get them. 
uh, in the morning or at night or something, and he's like, who is it? I'm like, who else is it going to be? Who else is knocking on your guy? Like, who? It's Gavin. <laughs> Gavin who? I'm like, I don't have time for this bullshit. I don't have time for this bullshit. It was really funny. <laughs> That's what he does. I really wish I was watching through the people. I wasn't. I was on the other side of the room putting my pants on because we just had sex. But you haven't, you <laughs> <laughs> but That's why they were stalling. Yeah. yeah. You in. I, was trying to, I was trying to clean the jizz out of my beard. Izzy gags himself when you brush his I teeth. I don't gag myself. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? Oh, yeah. All, all week in Halifax. <laughs> Every morning he's showering. All he hears. <laughs> 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 right. Jumping on the commute so back. I do and the then, same thing, bro. Don't worry. And then, and then he gets out of the shower and he starts brushing his teeth. <laughs> Dude, I don't like when the toothbrush touches my molars. And but then wait I brush a minute. One tongue. sec. If the puking is afterwards when you're brushing the teeth, what is the puking in the shower? I was, no, I was so brushing my his own the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw my own dick. He had his ribs removed. I, um, I saw my own dick, and that was the No, because the, the fucking... <laughs> the reason that your breath smells later in the day is the back of your tongue and your throat and shit. Yeah, so you true. have to jam the fucking toothbrush in yeah. there to get it. And uh, He likes to force it with the back of his tongue. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> I'm a squat and I get it. what I do. He gets into it. He swallows a lot of toothbrush that way. Well, you learned from his dentist who used to molest him. <laughs> He's like, to brush his that was teeth. my uncle. Like, how do I brush my tongue? Same way you suck my dick. Just jam that as far down your throat as you possibly can. And no teeth. And call yourself a whore. <laughs> he kegs for everything. We walked into the liquor store. It doesn't even smell like anything in there. Yeah. Gagging. And he started gagging. Oh, he also the gets scared store. for everything. He what? gets scared for everything. Yeah, he got scared like a million <laughs> times. Yeah, like a million fucking. He'd be falling asleep in the car on the way back with his head right by the speaker. <laughs> and I had the radio volume already turned up all the way, but it was off. Yeah, and then I just turned bitch. it on and it would That's the flare. That is. Oh. Here's, here's, it's like, a time. The third man. hour in, I was like, I'm gonna fucking lose it. I was, it it's like fucking you were waterboarding me because I'm falling asleep. Oh, shit. Wouldn't he be great at that? That would yeah, actually is would. his fucking calling. He's oh, yeah. great at comedy, but torturing would be a fucking great career. Because uh, that's because so, so, so he's a robot. Yeah, he's he's soulless. But Nobody even to th- constantly, like, to do that over and over again, yeah. you fucking keep <laughs> ramping the music up, that's going to make his ego crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh, but <laughs> constantly best, just not hitting the best fucking random eye He moment. started giving the same reaction for me just reaching in that direction. No, I so didn't. I, didn't I was watching you. I never got startled from you reaching. Yeah, I fucking is, leaned over and watched he, you. You, kept, you were getting pissed. Is yeah, because I was got trying to pass off dogs over here. What? You were fucking... Come on. <laughs> you got him back, though, with the horn. Out. Like, he was freaking yeah, out over the, the horn. horn. He actually out. pulled, like, good. he was honking when he's ordering food. <laughs> and he's like, uh, this is not me. It's my friends. I actually respect your establishment he said this and what the, you're doing for the community. He said that he to said the that. drive-thru He said that to the, in the drive-thru. Drive-thru. For. That's in my fucking bio. <laughs> <laughs> I respect what they're doing for the fucking community. Fucking trying to say. Slowly <laughs> killing everyone. <laughs> That's not me. Excuse me. Guy, it's not me. It's my friends. The guy in front Fuck of us it. was getting so fucking mad. It was awesome. Yeah. Dude, you couldn't tell because I was just doing it with Mace's umbrella. So we couldn't oh, see that I'm reaching oh. over and fucking hitting the That's horn. That's the thing that I was pissed at. So they were reaching in and doing it. So, and I'm in the driver's seat. It looked like I was doing it. <laughs> That's hilarious. So I yelled <laughs> That's at the story right. out the window to everybody. Guys, all the other stop. Cars. Stop. It was actually a good moment for me to watch because you, you were a good. bit of a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Did it feel good to finally get him back? Uh, like just that? a while. I was crying. I laughed a lot this weekend. It's like when I took you two, I was laughing. I was yeah. like, it was very funny. It was a funny weekend. That's good. You guys were doing comedy. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Until, oh, no, 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 it was pretty sad. Outside outside right. it, it was sad at the yeah. show. It was sad, <laughs> sad at the shows. And then the the promoter humped uh, one of the, oh. uh, the girls from our Are show. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, we dry humped her out front of the other bar that we went to, the Crazy Horse. Are they making out? No, no it wasn't was like married. that. It wasn't like that at all. It was like a rape hump? She no, she was, joke, she was She was making a just, joke. Just took she it. She kind of made, she she made a joke to it Mace, not to. Yeah. And then he. And I stepped he, away. And then she. And came, he jumped in and. Uh, like a dog. He just, just, she just wanted ooh. all of us to grab her ass and none of us were doing it. And then he and the was like, was like fuck it, I'll go. And he grabbed her hips and just started like, doing that. It was so creepy. It was very, very creepy. Very weird. Because he wasn't like a funny guy either. It wasn't like he was cracking jokes <laughs> all night. He did have a, a tie for- with smiley faces. The yes, happy face tie uh, was pretty that's hilarious. That's hilarious. It's good because he's not going to be listening to this podcast. <laughs> he won't. Do you think he would? No. Uh. <laughs> it was a good time. 
It was fun. It was a good time. It was good to tour like that. Except less old people. Well, the first, we, uh, and then we found another venue. Yeah. But it was weird. We were the Friday night after our first show, we're sitting in this bar in the in the hotel and this it was weird. This they were blasting this like what's it what's a Skrillex kind and of And we were music? like the, the so, only ones yeah, in there. It was like Skrillex kind of music. And we were the only ones. It was us. No, and two eighteen year old kids. And then sh- and then this girl comes in and comes up to us and goes, You guys seem like cool dudes. It means that we all think it's the next guy. Like it's none of us. You guys I knew it was me. We, we, I knew it was me that she was talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was gagging. So <laughs> you guys seem like cool guys. Did <laughs> 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 I get your number? <laughs> She's the one that I told you um, came to me and tried to sell me drugs. That's so yeah, she, she did. She, no, no, she, so she wasn't trying to bang any. No, no, no. But uh, we, she took us to this okay. venue that was pretty cool. She yeah, found she a was. good venue. She wasn't drinking, but she was sniffling the entire the time. venue, you mean, like, a bar? <laughs> yeah, it was. it's a bar, but it was more of a hipster place. Like, it's one of the few in that town. Yeah. There's supposed to be this one, this bar, but uh, we couldn't. We went to it, and there was a cover charge. I just, I I refused to go in. I didn't want to go. It was just loud, and there was, like, a line I'm up and stuff. I'm going to pay five to go in somewhere. I'm just going to look around. You were going to pay for both of us. Yeah, that's right. You're right. gonna. <laughs> I, which, no use. <laughs> did you get drunk? Which is fair. It's Completely fair. the it's, opposite of what I just she said. <laughs> she she didn't say. She didn't say that it, it was like a cool venue and it'd be good to do comedy. Like yeah. I, I wanted to see the inside of it. I just didn't want to go in through all that. Like I was think, expecting it to be dead, like the bar we were in. And then uh, because, so then, because of that, we ended up going next door this place called the laughing, laughing buddha, buddha which is like a cafe yeah and that like a restaurant wicked. bar kind of was great and it was just quiet and there was like a perfect like square room that would you could set up a comedy show yeah. sounds like a great fucking time <laughs> <laughs> it was quiet nice and small yeah, I love it. It was like, <laughs> oh, it was we went to this great like totally dead deserted bar <laughs> yeah. and then we went to this totally happening place that was just Ew. shitty you know five dollars <laughs> for fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd rather go sit in a square room. You could hardly take a nap there. Mace is like, when do we Mace go to McDonald's? Go to yeah, he asked that. So when Wendy's or McDonald's? All weekend? As soon as I mentioned, yeah. we, there's a Wendy's on the way there, halfway open there. Late. Open until 3 a.m. Hamilton Mc- Wendy's isn't even open until 3 a.m. Holy shit. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I got it. He had to get permission. He's going to yeah, run for mayor. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get permission from his sister. Eat it and one, but once, once she flipped the switch, it was go time. He was ready to kill himself. <laughs> he was, I had to he take the like, flurry forcefully out of his hands. <laughs> he was, he was eating just like that, Dead like brain just freeze. like he's he's ambitious, but his body can't keep up with his ambition with the food. Just like I can't believe this kid, man. I'm like, you're lucky. You're 20. When you hit 30, you're gonna be so goddamn fat. The way you eat. If you continue like that. I gotta Your metabolism that. is amazing You can't right wait now. for me to get fat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean. He I, sat in bed one night, where, is, and I was just watching him. Yeah, you were going to – you were even going to hang out with me, and then at, like, one minute, and you're like, actually, I'm going to go catch up with you. Because you look so happy. He was, he was quiet was, eating food, and I was like – He was <laughs> stuffing <laughs> fries in the burger Ew. and just, like, like it. shoveling it he in was his face. Fed you're the skinniest blanket. fat kid I know. He was, he was a step away from – you know when kids – when they yeah, because so, he was like that <laughs> close to yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was that right close. Does, Does he moan? Do you moan when you eat? Do you, are huh? you one of those? Like, <laughs> when I'm by myself, I don't think I he know. breathes. I won't in front of people. <laughs> I think I, don't, <laughs> yeah, I gotta <laughs> gasp every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, <laughs> <laughs> like your sleep apnea when he, gets <laughs> <laughs> he has a nice and also when I sleep. Yeah, I should lend you my CPAP nose tank so you can just have it right up your nostril. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, I was, it was either hang out with the fucking with the uh, with the the guy abusing his body or hang out with the other guy abusing his body. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, your oh, options are pretty limited <laughs> there. Is he look yeah. so happy? You're looking to not hang out with Drink. somebody who's self destructive in that scenario. <laughs> you brought the two wrong guys. Yeah, that we did. So I'm like, I'll go hang out. Especially when you're fucking like. You know what? This mace guy is too self-destructive. I'm going to go hang out with Isai Kamisa. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> 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 Isai is my favorite.
favorite self-destructing <laughs> person of all time. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Awesome. Well, we got free popcorn downstairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck, I was shoveling It is funny, because you're, like, kind of in between them two. Yeah, but the, I'm I'm worse looking than both of them. I'm, like, the result of both of them. <laughs> yeah. And I'm healthier than both of them. Like, I'm healthier than both of them. Yeah. Like, I was done at a certain point, and they kept going. You get shit-faced every night? Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, mm. I made him a bet. I said, don't get drunk <laughs> before you go on stage. It wasn't, there was no I, bet. You said don't. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said I it bet was, you could. There was a bet. There was no bet. But yeah. I was just, like, just see what years. happens. Because yeah. he did a great set the night before. But you can see the liquor was, like, kind of messing with some jokes. But he had a great, it was a great set. And I'm like, if you didn't drink, I bet you'd be even clearer. And then next night, and then he saw the crowd, and he was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It was like nine and he got people. poutine. Oh, he got it. a big pile of poutine and some <laughs> liquor, and that was it. Yeah, it was great. And then the the seventy year old waitress is like, I'm gonna get you a shot. I'm gonna give you a blowjob. And I was like, All right. So I stood up and ended my pants, and she did not. No, find it funny. Wait a minute. All. There was an even better moment before that during the show during Gavin's set. Oh, yeah. He was riffing with that same bartender, this like fifty-year-oldish woman. She was older than fifty. Oh yeah, maybe whatever 50 she was. Yeah. I don't know. She, she was, was going through menopause. Yeah, She's yeah. A yeah. So whatever. And uh, she show, she was like flapping a fly a, like a brochure at herself, like <laughs> as if she was hot. But it was kind of cold in the bar. And Gavin like asked her why, and she's like, "I'm having hot flashes." So Gavin's like, "Izzy, go go over and blow on her." Like, and <laughs> so Izzy. Walks over to her. She, he gets him out within like two meters of the bar, and she goes, "Get away from me!" <laughs> That's so funny. Not a joke no, no, at all. No, no, it's so serious. No, don't, don't even come near me. And then he just said. turned around like as he does, and going, "Okay, like, <laughs> like yeah, defeated no Charlie Brown." Yeah, yeah. What do you do? After oh, that? I know what this means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The lady said no, so I'll be on my way before the pepper spray comes out. I better. <laughs> I've been in this situation before. <laughs> I feel like an alley. It takes hours. It takes it hours to rinse it too out. clean in here. <laughs> Hold on. Let me piss on the floor. Get the vibe right. <laughs> I know what this is. Then that same waitress goes to buy him a shot, and then this happens. I, I just said it. Offered to give me a shot. Give me a blowjob. Pants off. <laughs> well, you didn't fully take your pants I had, off. I started undoing the buckle. And but at like, what nah, point nah, 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 nah. <laughs> she said... How did that even happen? Like, why did she just say, <laughs> she came yeah, over yeah, after I'm going to give you a blowjob no, no, no. and you're the fucking offensive one for pulling your pants? Hold on, that's a good point. Where's the buffer zone? Like, what's the conversation? How did it lead like, the, No, the blowjob is a shot called the blowjob. Yeah, oh. she said she was, she said so she she's was like, like, I'll, I'll give you a shot. It's a blowjob. That. Then the woman yeah. that told him to get the hell away from him, <laughs> he thought would appreciate the joke where he pulls out she's his She's the one that said, she's like, I'm going to get you guys a shot. That show, it was a really fun show. She went to the bar and she's like, here, I'm going to give you a blow, I got you a blowjob. And I was like, oh, okay. So I started on in my pants and she's just no 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 don't i would i've bartended for 30 years i've seen it all i'd rather put a cigarette out on my tongue <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah it was a good weekend yeah it was fun nice <laughs> and we, we were trying to look you. for the sudbury jordan here yeah we i i thought I saw a guy you were looking for doppelgangers we just have no we were in walmart and i just have no we're in the mall and i happened to see a guy i'm like that's jordan if he lived in sudbury and they're like, no, no. I'm like, I'm not looking for personality. Just his, the way his demeanor was, was you. So like, bent over, breathing out of his mouth. <laughs> Very Avoiding crazy. eye contact with strangers. Fresh from the sewers. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. A fellow sewer mate. All right. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes. A fellow sewer dweller. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what I'm looking for. You might have known him. I think I do, actually. <laughs> Barry is a good guy. <laughs> Barry. You bang on the pipe three times, Barry comes a running. Yeah, just up the fucking shit pipe quicker than Andy Dufresne, really. It's quite impressive. <laughs> actually, I'm going to be over here. Um, no, it's good you guys had fun, though. Yeah, and we, listened to, we listened to your radio show. It's mine now, yes. It has been taken away from these two. Uh, I'm the sole host of the Hamilton Comedy Hour now, back again. Yep. What else did you guys do? What did you do this weekend? I had Thanksgiving dinner at my dad's with my daughter. Is it a week after? Thanks yeah, because yeah. my dad was in New York and I was out east. And how is your daughter? She's good. Good. She's talking a lot. She she Can she eat turkey and shit now? Yeah. <laughs> she can eat solid. <laughs> she can eat turkey and shit for a while. <laughs> 
How, how long ago? Oh, my fucking in. parent? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know. I thought Did they fucking slop until they were nine. He would have asked that when she was at yeah. 42 yeah. years old. Can't she eat turkey and shit now? But he tried to make it sound like... Oh, oh, she's getting big. Can she eat turkey and shit? Uh, <laughs> so the, like, the, like the she's a dog. The sincerity really rang through. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, fair enough. Is she not going to talk yet? Like the so that fan is going to give her seizures. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Does she eat turkey and well, shit? I don't know. Like, I fucking never raised a kid. <laughs> well, you don't have to raise a kid. A chicken eat pretty much anything. They that's say you're not supposed great. to give kids certain foods because they might be allergic and shit, but I think that's why they become allergic, because you don't give it to them. Yeah, let's test he that says blossom. before he kills his <laughs> child. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. Uh, don't don't you know, kill his daughter. Seriously, yeah. though, I think there's some, something <laughs> fucked up with that. Give me your arm. Daddy wants to see if you're allergic to heroin. Wait a second. Eat <laughs> this peanut butter. This I've been releasing bees into her room. I've already given her everything. on your kid because of your theory. She's had fish. She's had peanut butter. She's had all kinds of Okay, but maybe she's not allergic to that. But, but I think when you spend, like, I don't know how long you wait, but, like, five years of your life never being exposed to peanuts, then, yeah, you might adapt some sort of fucking um, defense against it. No, you're, I eat peanut butter like a lot. Towards and then uh, I, I, when I got, like, I, by the time I was in grade three, I was allergic to it. I wasn't allergic before, and then I was allergic to it. Mm. He's allergic to peanut butter. Yeah, you can develop. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Had a, a little bit, not as much. What, what well, happened? Holland's the one. Could be very, I'm not a doctor. I'm just <laughs> guessing. I know. I know. <laughs> There's people listening. If their kids food, they shouldn't eat. But yeah, I went. To, uh, I took her to s- for sushi when she was like six months old. Is that <laughs> wrong? Are you kidding? Is that wrong? <laughs> she just ate ice cream. Oh, okay. No, she was like a year old or something. But like, like, I don't know. You're not supposed to. You shouldn't give them like fish, raw fish and stuff. Yeah, I don't think she so. could be I allergic. Think the, mercury, the mercury could poison them. Yeah, or she yeah. could just be allergic to. But I heard mer- the mercury levels are too high for kids. Yeah, like at that age. But I knew she wouldn't. Eat. I just gave her some rice and she ate some uh, like three bowls of ice cream. <laughs> she like it? Yeah. Dude, that shut her up. <laughs> You're more of the fun uncle than a father. <laughs> Let's go get sushi. Daddy will let you eat all the ice cream you want. All the ice cream. <laughs> so how, so she, is she's running and walking? Yep. What's she going out as Halloween? Uh, Little Mermaid. Are you guys all going out on yeah. Halloween? And dressed up? I am. You're not dressing up? Yeah. No. Gordon, I'm shocked. I'm going out as the the chick from Fifth Element with uh, my buddy Matt Lilo? Colin. Yeah, that's you going out as Lilo? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they just they called me last night. They're like, "Hey, uh, you you mind dressing up as a chick for Halloween?" It's like I do it every year. Fuck yeah. I'll do it. You know she's just ribbons, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> you definitely have to buy it. Hair. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, oh, I know. I'm going to offend so many people with my disgusting body. It's going to be cold too, so my pee pee's going to be all strong. <laughs> your your what? My pee pee. What do you call it? Dick. Oh, yeah. What are you, a grown man? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, have you Can you eat turkey? Yet? <laughs> can, can you eat turkey? How long shit? have you been I eating turkey totally for? Eat turkey, okay, dude. I've been I eating turkey my whole life. <laughs> I can eat turkey. And the mace is going out as a uh, heavy dick flash. <laughs> Big dick flash. <laughs> heavy dick flash. <laughs> heavy dick so flash. So his mace calls it just normal flash. Yeah. Well, he cuts out those. One gets the dick pics. I think mace has a huge dick. I don't know. I, I saw his balls when we were in Sudbury. Good for you. It's I didn't show him my big. balls. His balls are huge. <laughs> yeah. They're like, Wait, I don't know if I have tiny your balls, balls in some, like, gay Degrassi the, moment. The most, yeah. excited, like, experimental the moment. most excited and enthusiastic May Scott was when Wendy's was open at 3 a.m. and talking about his balls. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen his balls? <laughs> have you seen uh, his balls? I don't know. I can show you guys right now. No, it's okay. Like don't. You want to see? It's only Nick's place of business. Nick, do you mind? You should show us your balls. I'm not going to look at your balls, but Uh, go for it. I don't, I don't think this is necessary, <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't think show us your balls. Do it. I don't care. Just, just do, do it. it. Nobody cares. Just do it. it. We want to see how big your balls are. I don't want to do it. Do it. It'll be weird. I changed my mind. Then Mace has a story about it. Mace yeah, yeah, has a story about your testicles. He's a testicles? Did you just call them testicles? Yeah, they're testicles. Ah. I don't know how the topic of we balls we t- came up, yeah, we were talking but about I think I nuts. showed him my balls first because yeah. I was worried about how uh, droopy they are. They're very droopy. <laughs> what do you mean droopy? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were talking about Sandy Hook. Your balls are droopy? <laughs> and then the, the, the conversation naturally digressed yeah. into balls <laughs> as it does. It's it's normal. Normal. Yeah. As it yeah. does. <laughs> They're talking about, you know, you know how it does. Okay. So Wait. You're worried about your fucking 
Like balls? how droopy are I your balls? Was, uh, so you thought I'm going to show them the Izzy Camiso medical doctor? Yeah, the, yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> I'm going to get the kid. most reliable fucking <laughs> <laughs> shit. I, don't know, I just felt comfortable. Yeah, when you're done doing that <laughs> shot, can you sure. look at my balls for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your balls are droopy. What do you mean? I don't know. They're, uh, your balls they're are droopy. I've always show felt like they were extra show. saggy. I'll show you my balls. Saggy. Like your, your, your ball sack is saggy. Saggy, yeah. So it's just extra skin. What are you worried about? Well, I don't know. I just didn't know if it was... Uh... He's, wait a second. He shouldn't be your level of worry. He can't yeah, feel right. his hand right now, right? Yeah, and there's, like, pus coming out of my penis. <laughs> so <laughs> his level of worry... My urethra is very itchy. He's the first, live on his he's level the first of Canadian worry. with a bowl on. So <laughs> you should listen to me. <laughs> don't live on his level of worry. Right. His um, level of worry is like, hey, I'll do a podcast <laughs> and deal with this pus on my dick later. Is it red, too? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Just itchy urethra. What does red mean? Um, yeast infection. What he had. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I didn't have pus. Infection. Though. You didn't have pus. Did you have an itchy urethra? Mm-hmm. Well, not even urethra. It was like the whole head was itchy. Oh, oh. so my the inside <laughs> of my penis is itchy. <laughs> oh is fuck, gross. dude! You might this have like is... gonorrhea or some shit. Yeah, you yeah, might have know, some gonorrhea probably. or some shit. Yeah. This is the saddest podcast. Uh, yeah. This is, this is, this is the saddest. You guys want to see it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I what are you going to a little pus on the table. Every time you guys hit the thing, the springs shake, oh. and you can hear. I, I don't care, but every you time do, you hit it, it's like, you're bringing it up. Let's just say you care. Yeah, what, it it's okay you. if you care about that, but you just say you care. Okay, I care. Up, I care. I care. What are you going as Halloween yeah. for Halloween? A UTI. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought about it yet. Because he probably won't make it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have, I'm working that weekend. I'm in Vaughn all weekend. Oh, you're in Vaughn. So I probably won't. Well, I can go trick or treating. I guess well, before party on Saturday is a costume. You can go yeah. out in Vaughn as I'm doing two shows Saturday. Oh, where are you? Vaughn, yuck yucks. No, this Saturday coming up. Oh, this Saturday. Yeah. Uh, we got that show at Mills Hardware. Aren't you on it? Yep. Are you on it? You're on it. No, I'm not on it. Who's no, on it? You, Ashley Moffat. Uh, Rick Jones and I. Oh, Who's okay. Rick Jones? Actually, maybe not Ash. I don't know if Ashley Moss. Maybe, maybe Megan was, Pettit. She is on the poster. I don't know. Who's Rick Jones? He's uh, Rick Jones is a guy from freak. what? Brampton or Toronto? I think it's Oakville. Oakville. He's a nice guy. I've done a that few says shows a lot about him. a comedian. I just haven't seen nice much guy. of his He's comedy. He's a nice guy. You? Years ago. What is he a nice guy? From what I remember. <laughs> He's insane. In the good way. He's, He's insane. 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 How nice he is. In the good way. Uh, Nick, what about you? What do you yeah, do this sorry, weekend, Nick. man? I am not going to dress up. Really? Yeah. Uh, my kid, though, is going to dress up as a old, like, lion. Like. <laughs> Don't <laughs> act seem all so <laughs> enthused. Don't act all nonchalant. Like, yeah, yeah whatever. Shit. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> you're into it. That's your kid. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. He's, yeah. yeah, he's just he, he's doing his shit. Yeah, yeah he's he gonna walk around and get some fucking candy. Oh no, fuck that yeah. kid. He's yeah. only like two. He yeah, doesn't man. even eat turkey yet. Yeah, just don't yeah. let him see uh, hey, Lilu at the end of the <laughs> table on Halloween. <laughs> Does he, is uh, is your kid old enough to eat turkey? Um, we haven't introduced meat yet. Um, but it will. It's coming soon. He eats I think he's not yet. <coughs> yeah. So he he's he's at ten, question, ten right? months. Can be all up in spin stuffing. Wait, he's only 10 months right now? Yeah. Oh, shit. Did he eat turkey and shit? Um, yes. Well, it's that. been like pureed yeah. and he get, got it that way, but that's... <laughs> How about fish? But, like, not, not a whole lot of... Is he eating peanut butter? Can you get... Is he allergic to peanut butter? Uh, these are a lot of questions. Um, I don't think he's allergic... I don't think he's allergic to anything yet. Uh, but, uh... I actually... What you were saying earlier... We were, uh, I was talking about that. Um, just the other day. There's like a... There's a small period of time where I guess... You don't introduce certain foods to your kid that they can get allergic to them or whatever, but they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe what is that sh- actual science? Yes. Well, there, there's some, That's there's some studies, science. not like Why all. Why did you say that when we were debating it? Oh, I, I He's just probably didn't care. Been looking it up. Oh. Does, uh, does he still suck on your wife's titties? Does he? Uh, no, no. Yeah, there, she pumps. <laughs> no, are you? I, don't I, I like do. That, yeah, uh, she pumps and 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 uh, does that shit. I don't yeah. think it's like that, Izzy. I don't yeah. think it's like how you and your mom sucking the titties. <laughs> your relationship. Why do you always say that I suck my mom's titties? I just feel like you do. <laughs> I would suck your mom's titties. That's cool. I'll tell her. I'll be sure to remind Dad her. said it like you shouldn't be ashamed because yeah. he would do it. You're <laughs> just yeah. the closest person. I would to blame has their tits. I she's like, like Izzy, a lot, actually. dinner's ready. <laughs> and come suck my titties. If I were you, I'd be sucking her titties, too. Hey, I'll tell her. I'll be sure to remind her. Could time. you? Yeah. All right. She's a very beautiful woman. Yeah, that's how I get She is. She's a very beautiful lady. 
And she's a giggly lady too. That's not good. Is it? She's a tiny little body. You gotta be, you gotta be stressed out every time she goes to a comedy show, especially Dude, with this she only, bag. She's only been twice, and Dan called her an old hag. <laughs> I'm gonna give I her a gonorrhea. Called her a cunt. You called her a cunt. <laughs> no, Dan did. Dan called her. A yeah, cunt. he denies it. Why did he call day. her a cunt? His, um, when, I know the story. Yeah, you can tell. Um, Dan Peters. Yeah. He uh, called your mother a cunt. Yeah, on stage. It was the first time. Was he on stage? Oh, yeah. Okay, was she yeah. heckling? Uh, no. no, he brought her I up, and then my mom got up and started to defend herself because a creepy old man called her. Was this cut. about the the yeah. bite? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. what happened? I don't even know. You guys. Didn't tell <laughs> so I was eating a burger. <laughs> I enjoyed. I I so many stories start with that. Why do all my stories start with eating a burger? I don't think you need to say you're eating a burger anymore. Is all it right, part of the story? Assume. So it I was living. Is a part of this story? <laughs> I was existing, eating a burger, and um. <laughs> I think me and Brandon so were so poor we shared a burger actually. Aww. So we all we both ate half of it. That's what happens <laughs> sometimes. And I just introduced my mother to the table of like mace. Oh, so this so is at the table. This I is have at not met your mom yet at, at all. Like even now. Like I she, I was sitting at the table beside her. I didn't meet her at this point. Oh shit. Uh, so she met Mace though. Probably. Okay. And then so I she was... got she had her balls to do that because she met Mace. I was very fucking it. adamant on like eating. So me and Brandon, like, we didn't talk to anybody. We just you went didn't right give a order. shit. Yeah, yeah. Eat, eat the mic. Eat but the then we, here. pardon? Get, get closer to the mic. Okay. okay. You're like, who the fuck is this lady? Um, Why is she stopping me from eating this half a burger? Well, no. Uh, so I'm eating it, and then Brandon's like, oh, we should take a picture, which ended up being like a thing. I always like take pictures of like jamming burgers into my mouth. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but Brandon Sobel started that. For the and collection. For the cl- now there's a collection, <laughs> which I'm pretty proud of. And How many uh, are there? I have no idea. You take them all. Yeah, there's um, got to be like 20. Yeah, so there is a collection. It's coming out next August. <laughs> it's a calendar. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a, a calendar. A book. The least sexy calendar book. <laughs> Coffee table book. <laughs> That's the market we're going for. <laughs> um, we're going to target that 70-year-old lady who wouldn't want it. Nothing to do with Izzy. <laughs> oh, yeah. she'll, she'll buy it. So I'm eating the burger. Brandon's taking the picture, but he's Brandon. So he fucking takes like nine pictures, and it's like all blurry, and she's like, hold on, let me get one more. One. So I'm sitting there with the burger in my mouth, like, I said yes for a really long time. And she looks over and sees me like that. And I have this thing jammed in my mouth. She goes, hey, why don't you take a bigger bite? Now, Dan Peters heard that from, yeah. like, the side table because he was just standing there with me and Brandon. Yeah. He heard that, and that pissed him off because he didn't know, I think at the time, did, that it was your mom. He had no idea. And he just thought it was some chick who was <laughs> um, being mean to me. But the context of it is Dan actually was standing up for me when he called your yeah. mom yeah. a cunt because he said, like, earlier I had actually had a conversation with Dan. I was, like, way fatter, and I was like, if there's something that bugs me when people make fun of it, it's probably my weight. I don't feel like that anymore, but at the time I did, so I told Dan that, like, probably, like, two nights before that because yeah. I was over at his house. So when she did that, he was like, oh, this motherfucker's sensitive about his weight. You're a fucking cunt. And yeah. he called her a cunt. And he had yes, my back. Did. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but he I, called your mom a cunt, yeah. which is kind of fucked up. It was, that was weird. But, and then she also said something, like, made another comment about you deep throating it. And I was like, okay, shut the fuck up. Leave my friends alone. And then she just your said, mom said I didn't that? hear that one. Now she's yeah. a fucking what a cunt. cunt. Yeah. That's sexy. She thought she was being funny. And she's like, oh, I'm at a comedy show. All these I comics. Think she knows are... about deep throating. My mom my knows mom is fucking weird, man. That's what you think. My mom knows. Nothing about it. Well, your wife me. knows all about it. My mom knows. <laughs> my wife? When you're out of town. Well, why'd you just do that for? <laughs> we're talking about my wife. <laughs> why do you gotta bring my wife yeah, in? We're this. talking about his mom. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, so Dan called her a cunt on stage, and then my mom gets on up. On stage? Well, he was. It was at Joe Dogs. Oh, it was at a show, and then he went up, and he's like, some, some uh, Fifty Shades of Grey breeding old oh, cunt. Oh, God. Called my uh, made fun of my friend about eating eating his burger or whatever. My mom. And then gets what was up. the punchline? There was no punchline. He just course. called my mom a cunt, and then she gets up. He and called her a cunt again. No, he said the one time, and then she gets oh. up. He's like, I, I didn't. I was joking around. I just met him and Mace. I was just being funny. And my mom's like running to the stage. I'm like pushing her back. He's like, shut the fuck up. Sit down. Stop talking to my friends. They don't. Yeah. Does she drink? First off, I was not. She, no, I wasn't offended at all, but. But, like, I don't know why Dan took the liberty to do that, really, other than, like... Because he got to call a lady a cunt on yeah. stage. Yeah. It, wasn't, it really yeah. had nothing to do with you. I'll tell you that right he now. He just likes saying cunt. It had more to do with, like, I, I'm I sure know. part like of it, if you had that back. conversation, yeah. I think he... I think he, he did had, have my back. Yeah. I think he had your back, but also was on the ready to call a woman a cunt. <laughs> As he yeah. is, but that's, yeah. that's Dan. He, he always goes, I never called her a cunt. I called her an old hag. He's like, no, you said cunt. He said yeah, cunt. And I, said and cunt. Like, I'm not upset by it because that's just the way he talks. And he was fucking yelling and shit during the show. So I was like, fuck was up. she mad? 
No, she wasn't mad. She she was just wanted to clear it up. Yeah, uh. and she also doesn't like the word cunt, so she was, went no up and she does. wanted to. Yeah, no, she hates it, and she kept calling Dan a prick. <laughs> like, oh, shut up, you fucking so prick! So like, a woman there. hates Dan. Shock. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is unheard of. Yeah, yeah it's very unheard of. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what did you oh, want to talk about, Mace? Knows. You said we had to oh. save something for the podcast? Yeah. the you got uh, a cute the... mom, too. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. <laughs> you got a cute mom, too. What's your shit factory like? Nah, she's a cunt. I don't feel that way. She listens to this podcast. We're going to... When I'm, with her that ne- her? when I'm with her next what? week, I'm going to play email this podcast for her. What are you just that clip. Yeah, yeah, I will. his own mother a cunt. I'm going to make an edit of yeah. just You're getting all up in his mom? Yeah. Fine. Like I do? Rude. As I, I do? I wouldn't say anything like that about a woman you cared about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you do. So, but you do. I do. He said a woman you care about. (laughs) I do. I care about my wife. (laughs) I love my mom. Um, Guys, will we stop talking about your cunts and just move on with the podcast? All right. (laughs) Um, See, he just called your wife a cunt. Don't call my wife a cunt. Don't, don't. I can't. There's a level where I have to say some shit to you. I know. I'm just kidding. But your, your, your mother is a lovely lady, and your wife is a lovely lady, too. I wouldn't go as far as that. Is it moist? (laughs) moist? Um, what we were talking about <laughs> was that uh, I didn't know. I didn't know this that the government subsidizes art yeah. in Canada. That's what and CBC they have, is. They have access uh, potentially to like what five thousand, ten thousand dollars. Oh, no, sometimes, no, sometimes more. Is subsidized. The CRTC. Okay, sure, sure. Thing. But you said like artists, like a painter or a, yeah, a, that uh, too. It can can get a lot of most gov- <laughs> most countries have that art. Yeah. And Art. I Except thought for the ones that, that don't have food. Weird. Stuff. It's also like you know Hitler Wait, what does did that it for mean? propaganda. What does it they mean can exactly? they can apply to get a grant for like a project or something and just get money. They support their artists. Stand up comedians can do the same. No, they can't. No, they can't. They what? No, you have yeah, to be like a to, painter. Or something? I don't. Like, I don't think stand up comics should be able to, even if they could. Why like, not? Absolutely, they should. Yeah, why not? I just it doesn't make sense to me that that's why there yourself? for art. Why? Yeah. If it helps you pursue your yeah and produce Canadian content but and you Canadian can culture, pursue your yeah, it's art. It's also propaganda maze. Like it's also like you you produce artists who uh, send out the idea. Of what I don't Canada understand. Is. Don't you Hitler guys all live at home and don't pay your bills? <laughs> why can't you just go do it? <laughs> <laughs> talking about it'd be amazing no if we i got agree money. i i'm not but i don't get <laughs> you why i'm glad you said can it i, I don't want to say can anything. i say i don't agree with that i want to hear out his fucking point he has a reason okay. for why we none of us have let him no say I, I, he I don't really have a reason for why i just don't i don't see a good reason for it to be there the it's so strange to me to that they, but if you had a plan if it's like i want to produce a show or it's like having like an investor but it's a grant but why it allows you to not have but to... It, every country does it, too, by the way. And why do you find uh, it strange? I just find it strange that it's like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't see the practical You're purpose You're pushing the it. national identity if you push your artists. They're the ones that, yeah, like, yeah. that's what Hitler used for all those propaganda stuff was they <clears> gave grants to artists who pushed the idea. That is Germany. a good defense of that idea that Hitler used it. Yeah, well, he did. But, <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Point proven. But, uh, but, but Hitler, other people use it before Hitler. I'm just saying. Like, it's like Stalin. Stalin used it. <laughs> but it's true. Stalin did use it. A lot of people use it before the the Greeks you did it. Everybody no, no. I see, what, I see what you're saying. All the great people in history have used this. King is kind of used it. Yeah, that's what you the reason, did. That's what you're uh, saying. He just conquered. This memberment was a performance piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, reason, that. Okay. the reason that they do, they do it. Say <laughs> the, the, uh, the CRTC and uh, the uh, an agency called Factor, they give yeah. out grants to musicians to put out albums because they know that they can't make the money themselves to produce their album, so they have to get money somehow so they can have Canadian content on the radio, or painters, right. they know that they get paid shit, so they'll get a grant so they can make Canadian art that they can put in museums in Canada that people will go to, yeah. and it's it's they're just trying to keep a cycle of You, you think it's hard sh- being a Canadian comedian in this country? Like... Think about a painter. Or a performance artist. Jesus it, Christ. They probably yeah. make more money than we do. Probably. Some painters, some painters do, yeah. <laughs> some yeah if if you like, make it. But not many. Not many. But that's not even the argument. Like, I, I, 
I get that it's a nice thing. I'm not debating that it's like a that there are benefits mm-hmm. to it, especially for the artist. This right wing sh- nut job doesn't think Seriously. it should be fucking. <laughs> no, I just <laughs> right don't get. I just don't get it. So it's just a thing that it's, everybody it's likes. Eugenics. So it's just basically. Everybody likes art, and people are okay with it. Yeah, the but what if a guy wants to open a, like a breakfast restaurant? Art is he applies culture. for a grant. Dude, art is culture. Why the fuck should he get it? Why aren't they like... They do. That's what happened with the Lister block, the, that okay. steakhouse yeah, down yeah, the There's street. probably... A lot of money. Okay, I'm going to guess... I'm not, I haven't went through the grant system, but I'm going to guess right now that there's probably institutions in place within that grant system that still allow certain people privilege over other people. Of course. But um, at the same time, to these people, their justification for having this... Is that we don't live in a in a fucking highly driven capitalist market for mm-hmm. art in Canada. No. So that way, if when you have an environment that's not driven so economically like the United States does, mm-hmm. you start to lose your identity and your own art and start to consume more art from the United States and more art from you start to export your art. So then it'll even encourage Canadian artists to be like, you know what? And, you know, man, you want to do this. It's like, fuck this place. Uh, there's no money here. I'm going to the States. Yeah. But if you give them the grants, it says, maybe you can stay here and, you know, continue and expand the Canadian identity, the Canadian art fucking world, instead of going out and exporting your art. to an, And having your art, if it is successful, boost their economy instead of ours. Plus, yeah. plus every... Uh, yeah, thank you. Fucking thank you. <laughs> I I every career, every career path is subsidized. <laughs> I fell asleep through half like, of that. University <laughs> subsidized, <laughs> college is subsidized, pretty much every every career, like even um, being a tradesperson is subsidized. They're all subsidized, so yeah. it's just subs- it's just subsidy for them. Well, we subsidize everything. Everything gets subsidized. They, yeah. yeah, they're trying to keep more Canadian artists in Canada because everyone does fuck off and go to the states. So or anywhere they go yeah, anywhere, anywhere is better than here. You. What? <laughs> Now what's your I argument? I thought I was the repeater, is he? <laughs> now what's your argument, <laughs> Richie yeah. Rich? No, I, that made You feel better about it now? You fucking yeah, Rush Limbaugh, <laughs> you okay now? Your, your Harper lover? <laughs> I, uh, any of those. Uh, ah, stop it. You're Rush, Rush Limbaugh, for sure. Hey, um, but no, that so. actually makes a lot of sense to me. That made sense. That's it. Yeah. It's dense. And I think uh, Canadian comics can get factor grants for their albums but that's it really, oh, really? yeah because yeah. i didn't know that i fucking had i know it was a long time ago i had somebody like send me what is, like the link <laughs> to get a grant what is a I factor grant fa- factor is uh, an factor organization grant. that they give out what? grants to musicians Walmart. mostly musicians they will <laughs> do know? like uh they will occasionally give out uh grants to comics like music videos yeah for music videos uh, yeah, there should be one to do comedy specials yeah there they, is, it's, they're doing that thing right now which that's what that comedy. Coup. That's what that's all about. Well, they're giving away like five hundred thousand comedy. Coup. Oh, that's for a yeah. sitcom. Yeah, or anything. That's like what it's for. Yeah, that's a grant. Yeah. Huh. And they're even. Uh, it's not it has factor, to be but there's another on. one that uh, their Canada is now doing for Canadian web series. Like uh, you know, Bill and Sons Towing. Yes. Honorable guys. Yeah, they Heard do it once it. a year. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they ha- yeah now Canada's uh, putting a little bit more money. Those into are it. that's not those Good. are companies that do it. Like those are companies. Like I'm not sure what company does that, but that's a company that puts that money in there. But they need to do it. It's a tax write off for these guys. Yeah, mm. the government does get involved a little bit, but the was, there is they some like is that it, one is mostly private. Scotia Bank does Nui Blanche. Oh, and do they try. really? Yeah, that's Scotia Bank. It sucks. But it's Scotia Bank now. Yeah, but they open the bars till four o'clock, so good on them. That's what art's about. Yeah, the bars being open till <laughs> four o'clock. Drunk till yeah. four. Yeah. And there's probably an after hours place open till seven. There's always an after hours. Knew it, Blanche. Knew it. Knew it. I believe it's pronounced knew it in, in the Knew-y. French. Oh, I forgot to bring that DVD for you. Oh yeah. Sorry. What what DVD? That's so bad. The one I perform on, oh, stand the on the bus. I really think you should sell that. I think that'd be a fun, like a good, uh, like as merch afterwards. It might be interesting. He has a DVD. Have you heard about this? Him what? doing. Did you stand, stand up on a, on a bus? I did an art. I did an art installation for this guy. I, I did stand up on a bus. Like a, they're going to an. Ex, they were going to an exhibit, and the art installation is driving is me doing stand up to the. Hey, was that? Were there any grants involved? With did that? they know Pardon? you were going to do stand up? That's how the whole. Yeah, they knew I was. Yeah. What was the artist that you were? That, I, uh, I don't know. Well, who? Is it Bill Shannon? I don't know. I forget his name, but he did this installation at Nuit Blanche the year before, which I loved. It was, he had like 12 people dressed up as mascots, 
he had them dancing continuously, and it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was so – because they were just – like, they were giraffe heads, and they were just all tired and everything, and they're still <laughs> dancing. It was so funny. It was just – that's his sense of humor. Oh, so he's, like – he's a – he does, like, comedy – performance it, I, I think he likes the awkwardness of things i think he likes pushing the limit until it becomes so awkward and i mean most of that art's that right yeah like it is pushing the limit it is yeah like saying what, what was he trying to say like i don't know I, I i don't i nothing he wasn't really trying to it was just the idea of awkwardness or wins to like he just likes that that's why he chose me to do that thing on the bus is just the idea of this uh, this awkward moment in this situation that's cool it was it just didn't fit like i would be fascinated by Remember mace's we were... day-to-day yeah oh yeah what mace's day-to-day would be awkward <laughs> shit. talking himself out of so many things uh but no uh no oh no uh. remember when we were we were writing uh we wanted to do a tv show like that yeah where you pay for the show was on the bus yeah with the pa system and you you pay for it ticket on the bus you told me about that yeah but yeah. it wasn't just gonna be stand-up it yeah. would be like we we're gonna like do bullshit tours and cities we've yeah. never been to but we're making shit up the whole time but you can plan stuff and yeah. set things up on the way and everything yeah i still think that's a funny idea yeah, and it was gonna be called comedy tour bus because <laughs> it's a comedy tour bus oh that's why you were gonna call it that oh i get uh, it mm. It's an anagram. You or it's a to tour bus to with comedy on it. I, no. You get it? It's not, yeah. it's not just the... I was picturing it, but then I didn't piece it to get like it was... <laughs> and then when you said it, I got you it. You can't do anything until I get this gonorrhea cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> now you know for sure it's gonorrhea. That's the is. tour. Is the bus just stops at a clinic. We wait. <laughs> it goes to all the <laughs> You guys wait. I gotta get some shots. Who wants penicillin? <laughs> <laughs> It burns when I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even stressed about it, dude. Yeah, I guess there's no, nothing you can I do. Because these panicking. things happen to me. Not Everyone's things like so that, but bad things. <laughs> I think you kind of walk into a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I think these you... things happen to me when I have sex with a lot of people. Don't wear condoms ever. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. they just happen. That's yeah, I don't know life. why this yeah. is just all happening. When it's so such a <laughs> yeah, no, bad I'm just like A part of me, is, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, just, I think there's a lot more going on with my body right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm actually afraid yeah, to go to the doctor. A like cellular level. organ failure, yeah. probably. Yeah. <laughs> it's really However, um, it's like we I just know there's nothing I can do about it. There's a lot of things that play in my head that I'm like, I shouldn't have Are you a hypochondriac? Um, uh, yeah. No, there's I no fucking no. way. This guy's yeah. And I got shipped for the right turkey now. question. Yeah, but no, but wait a second. He's asking. Yeah. He's as he's not sure. He's always thinks something sick. And then him. he fucking goes. And he's probably and right. This day. Yeah, it's not hypochondriac yeah, if you're just accurate. Yeah, no, it's, it's like gingivitis. I for sure have gingivitis. I haven't been diagnosed <laughs> with it, but like I can I, I can't even eat apples. <laughs> Smile. Let's see those gums. Are they just? I don't want to get close. They're receding. Yeah, see. they might jump on you. They are receding, they, I, but they bleed all the time. But like at first, it was born. like it's a problem, and they're kind of itchy all the time. But Do you it's brush been your like teeth? yeah, I brush my teeth Do you every floss? day. Floss? No, I don't floss, yeah, and I smoke too much. Yeah, but um, that's a sign of heart problems. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but like before, it was like oh shit, my gums bleed. It worried me, and now it's just like now it's just a part of my life. Like if this it doesn't if this don't do that with the gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, I've been busting for like three months. This is the part of my life. I just may rename my gonorrhea Tim. It's a part of my life. <laughs> it's not like you're a fucking pirate. You have like cl- walking clinics <laughs> you. you can go to. You're not there's, on the high seas. I have a doctor's appointment on Thursday. You, All right, good. I'm glad. You, I'm blood tests, you live in an age of technology, dude. You do have options. You live in a city. You live in a city where one of the major things in the city is hospitals. It's healthcare. Yeah, yeah, I know, but <laughs> I just feel like you if I get told I got something to bad, or I know. Bring somebody to drive. I, I feel know. like you get sick faster when you find out what you got. But no, you don't. That's you, not how it works. You, <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. <laughs> you also can heal. Yeah, they can you give you medication down. that will fix you, or you just never know and then you die. <laughs> that's you, exactly. <laughs> No, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just not that upset about it because I, I can't. But you have the doctor's he appointment. Panic, he doesn't have to be panicked because he's hypochondriac, does he? Like, I mean, like, you could think he, everything's wrong. The thing that bothers me yeah. more is, like, anytime something's wrong with me and I know it was something I did, I got that, you know? Uh, I always replay that in my head. And I'm like, you know. 
You still kind of regret, of but not really. I don't. You I, still make no a lot of great decisions. I remember when I first met you, and you were telling me how your life fell, fell apart, and I'm like, dude, did all that? You're like, I lost my license, and blah blah blah. Yeah, that's you. You still make a lot of great decisions. You know that. Like, I'm not making that yeah. up. Yeah, I'm not judging you. Like, don't, this is an intervention. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's like, yeah, it's these are all correctable. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's not like, it's not like. The, the universe is... Oh, I, yeah, I've never just, felt like that. No, I'm not saying you are, but I'm just, you make it sound like sometimes, not all the time, it's not an intervention, but like, uh, my life has just been the spiral. It's not a spiral. You're not in spiral. Just got a little bit of gonorrhea, and you're going to get yeah. it cleared <laughs> up on Thursday. Don't worry. But you, you stick sit your there dick and tell everywhere. me everything's fine. You stick your dick everywhere. <laughs> I have an itchy urethra. <laughs> you just stick it everywhere. You know you do. Yeah, I'm actually surprised you hadn't got this sooner, to be honest with you. Yeah, you I should be happy. Like, that's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if it's like, what if I have AIDS or something? Yeah, oh. that's not how AIDS operates. <laughs> what, it though? might for him. I don't know. <laughs> it's like There's we don't know how to really operate bad AIDS. in his body. Yeah, you got, you got serious AIDS. It wasn't the doctor comes out. You got some fucked up AIDS, dude. It's so insane. bad that he's actually <laughs> trying to AIDS escape out of your It's insane how much AIDS you have. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen AIDS like this. This is the first time I've seen AIDS try to cure itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying to, it's trying to leave my body. Dude, you got way too much AIDS for a normal human being. We need out of here. It smells in like here. like 98% AIDS at this point. <laughs> it, you're, it, it, it's gotten rid of all the water in your body. And it's turned it all into AIDS. We don't. <laughs> you got so much AIDS. They're gonna find the cure of AIDS in your dick. I think. This is be it's like it's like a it's like a, 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 a what are those? Uh, a, a fuck it. What those jungles where you find cures? What are they called? What are they? A rainforest. <laughs> Do you find cures in a rainforest? Yeah, they find a lot of cures in oh, rainforests. Wow. <laughs> That's why they don't want to, they don't want them to clear cut rainforest. Because it's because it pats AIDS. Because yeah, there's so many things they haven't discovered in uh, rainforests. <laughs> I was saying his dick would be like a rainforest. Oh, it's true. You can see a bunch of species. And shit. Yeah, <laughs> but just sees and shit. Who eat turkey and shit? What? Oh, We're old enough to eat. Not taking our topic. Right. So the test came back. <laughs> we found a lot of fecal matter in your. Have <laughs> you been fucking shit? That's the only way we could say it medically. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have you been dry humping poo? Do you know Izzy Camiso? <laughs> <laughs> we've only seen this type of AIDS yeah, once before. Yeah, we've seen this before. <laughs> Susan, pull up the Camiso files. <laughs> it's like a phone book. No, yeah, it's a whole fucking file cabinet. I didn't even know they had those anymore. Uh, it's no, it's one in the back. File. It's one of those trick ones that goes like way into the wall. <laughs> 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 this guy had eggs. everything wrong with his dick. I don't have AIDS. Is he just smiling over there? <laughs> I don't, don't have, have AIDS. AIDS. I don't have AIDS. Well, your mom told you you don't have AIDS. See, my boy doesn't have AIDS. You don't talk about my mother like that. It's true. I'm sorry, Izzy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time is your show tonight? We're trying to be there. It's at 7. 7. <laughs> well, we've done an hour and 15. I think that's good. An hour and what 12, do you guys yeah. think? I think that's that good. was fun. Yeah, we, we got to talk about uh, Sudbury and your AIDS. It was fun. It was relaxed. Sudbury. Yeah, so next podcast... Uh, I Patrick will, won't be here. I will know what I have. <laughs> Confirm. It'll be fine. All right, so I guess I'll do the plugs. I don't, I don't say that. Let's get people on the fucking let's get the mystique up a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Patrick might die, so Patrick tune in next, die. next week and we'll tell you. Dun, 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 dun. I want to start adding effects now to the podcast just so I can <laughs> add the suspense sound for you're Patrick be, might die. You're going to feel bad about that when I die. I really hope you don't have AIDS. <laughs> get a soundboard. Yeah. Pretty bad. What? Get a soundboard or something. Yeah. You're going to need to borrow your people live a long time with AIDS? Yeah. No. Um, people that go years. to doctors actually, once in a while. Yeah, they, actually, I just people? I was just listening to the Skeptic Tank uh, Ari's podcast, Ari Shapiro's podcast, and he was talking to. He interviewed the pianist from the Comedy Store, and oh, he's yeah. had AIDS for thirty HIV for thirty years. For thirty years. When you say pianist from the Comedy Store, do you mean Izzy Camiso yeah. from Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even thirty years old, Gavin. We don't know you've had AIDS you're longer than you've 30. been alive. <laughs> That's <laughs> how bad your AIDS are. I was going to say, you're looking good, but you're looking <laughs> you're, rough. You're not <laughs> even You were 45, man. <laughs> Aww. Aww. I'm cute, okay? Yeah, you are. You're a me, so. Uh, yeah, actually, the, the girl at the Helios. <laughs> yeah, uh, she, wanted to, she wanted to get some of this dick, too. She Ooh. wanted to get some of that dick. Who? <laughs> <laughs> this chick from, uh, the, the chick from the show last night. Oh, was it a good show? Uh... That 
guy that couldn't hold himself up on the stool was fucking yelling the whole time. Oh, yeah, he looked like And then just... most of the audience Fine. left. Oh. Yeah. All right, do you want to wrap this up, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys have any dates to plug? How many at Kaylee? Every Monday, 9.30 now. Yeah, but we're doing a garage sale. Which was fun. I gave away. I'm gonna a bring bunch something next week. Yeah, bring, if you guys are like the listeners, are, uh, anyone, anyone oh, wants anyone to come out, stuff. you can bring your own shit. You guys can trade. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna be giving away weird stuff. There's still a thumb drive with uh, contents <laughs> unknown. So if he you gave a couple last night. He gave a a couple that was wasn't even watching the show. They were sitting in the other room. Um, My hockey picture. <laughs> A picture of him, like yeah, his hockey photo from when he was like ten that, years though. old. I upsold yeah. that to them, eh? Yeah, oh, yeah. did you? Yeah, yeah. did and you it, sign it? Yeah, they asked me to sign it, so then I put my Twitter. I signed it. And I put my Twitter thing on it, and oh, then yeah, inside the sleeve, they're not. It's, it's like, where it's, are they going to do with it though? It's something that should only like your mom should have in a she cupboard. Doesn't want it. She doesn't want it. She knows what his body looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he then uh, it, it was inside one of those like. Photo sleeves. Why don't you bring and put it here with? Well, like I don't this? have it anymore now, Gavin. Uh, but inside the photo sleeve, there was a, uh, a piece of jizz clean. Look how lonely the whole looks up here. <laughs> I have pictures of it. Anybody? Any more shows to plug? I see you're backing away slowly. Uh, <laughs> yucky Yucks Hamilton uh, every Wednesday is amateur night. Mm. It's three fifty to get in, or free with a student ID. And uh, Thursday, October thirtieth, Devil's Night uh, is Showgasm. Hosted by myself and Mace, that guy Mace right Galoni. there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and on cue, Halloween Super weekend, I'll be at Von Yuck Yucks. Oh, and every Tuesday uh, Melon Heads. at Melonheads, Hamilton Vape, I run a show um, at 8 o'clock. Kellen Cheds. You can. Um, oh, and you're. It's 420 friendly, and it's $5 it's for members, friendly. $10 if you're not a member. Aren't you uh, also nominated for the V Magazine Promoter? Of the year? promoter. The second best local show promoter. promoter. Oh, you won it. Did you win the award? Uh, or was yeah, you nominated? I won. Oh, cool. Did you get a plaque or something? I don't know. Mm. I didn't even know about it. It's because you run yeah. three shows. <laughs> yeah, you do have three shows. Yeah, you do. Have, you're a good promoter. Yeah, you deserve it. Thank well, you. I mean, good. <laughs> for a guy with AIDS. Yeah, or for a guy that <laughs> he's a hustler. Plug last minute. <laughs> Mace, do you got That's any? The weirdest plug session ever, but yeah. Okay, I got the. <laughs> you made it at his birthday party. Let me just do my plug, and then we, you guys can do Butt your bullshit. <laughs> I uh, I got the debaters next Wednesday, twenty ninth, and then I'll be doing some. Get that bullshit. Thank you, and then I'll be doing. Uh, uh, hashtag bullshit. Hashtag bullshit. I'll be doing no the thirty first. I'll be doing and the thirty second. Just the thirty first, no thirty second. I'll be doing a show at the Staircase Theater for some Halloween. In Toronto. Will you be no, masturbating Toronto. once you're in the room? Or? No, like, and then, oh, yeah. you got to do the room jerk. And the room jerk. I okay, jerks this off is the worst at promo. comedy shows we've Let me just out. finish doing the Jerking promo. in that comedy about my show. Jerk. Let me just finish the goddamn. Stop jerking off and comedy And then November shows, 8th, I'll be in Niagara Falls. Rubbing that dick before the show. And then, <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. See, nobody cares. November 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, just Gavin Stevens. Niagara Falls. Just the 8th. Just the eighth. Just the eighth. <laughs> yeah. All right. His his we'll triumph. On the eighth, then he's only there on the eighth, I guess. His okay. triumphant um, return to the Niagara Falls. I've been back since. Oh, you've been back since yeah, the mayor let you back. The 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 uh, you think it's a joke? It truly happened. The it, what happened? He got banned. I got banned for masturbating in the comedy. I wasn't club? masturbating. Yeah. In, all right. All right. That actually is what happened. Uh, podcast is done. There was a uh, <laughs> yeah, no more not, podcast. No more podcast for anybody. I, it's still it's still recording, so I guess we still can talk about it. No, you, can't. you, you were jerking off in the club, just Whatever. like you were doing. Okay, in I was Sunbury. jerking off in the. No. Well, you got the shoulder shake going on. I'm over I had a twitch in my arm. <laughs> I was leaning up against the table. I had a twitch in my arm. A twitch that lasted eight minutes. This is why you people honk your horn, man. Because <laughs> you're jerking off in clubs. I wasn't. Why would I jerk off in a club? Well, why? Why? I am not ashamed. Of, I'm not ashamed of jerking off. Why would I? I would admit if I was jerking off in a club, I'd be like, hey, yeah, I was totally jerking off in that club, man. Could you just uh, check us out next week on the podcast. Gavin might not be here. He might get arrested for jerking off in clubs. I'm gonna be jerking off. In That's uh, episode 84. Uh, oh yeah, and also like us on Facebook and Twitter. Do you know podcast? Or sorry, um, on Facebook is <laughs> Facebook dot com slash Gino Pod and uh, Twitter's Gino Podcast. Yeah, Gino, one of them. You guys yeah. figure it out. You yeah, know how to use we the said internet. it before. You guys yeah. fall apart so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Smoke that weed. Well, that Kush perp. Bye. <laughs> Bye.